they finally got it right huh? finally oh i'm in goa by the way Bollywood most recently have given us laugh out loud gems like the absurd yet playful circus the sequel that everyone wanted Hangama 2 the charming and evergreen Batisi of Karthik and Shehzada and of course the beautiful concoction of Susu jokes in Fukre 3 while the sarcasm in my introduction leaves my body the cinema enthusiast within me was tired of reminiscing about the gems that came few and far between i remember seeing loot case most recently and wondered why we haven't made playful situ traditional comedies like that if i can think about comedies that actually did a decent job in recent years kala kandi and blackmail come to my mind but nothing has been close to the absolutely insane time i've had in theaters when i first watched a movie like go go agon or delhi belly nothing has reached the perfect combination between being absurd yet playful wacky yet fun and most importantly that has not forced the gags down the audience's throat with random punchlines using viral memes but followed the gold the rule of the situations extracting the punchlines mudgaon express is the dark horse i cannot recommend you enough because after a very long time i have genuinely laughed to my heart's content and more in the theater this experience actually made me emotional because it made me think about kunal khemu making his directorial debut and acknowledging that he just identified the sore of the audience our wavelengths matched after a long time and i saw a theater actually erupting with laughter mudgaon express focuses on Dodo Pinku and Ayush played by Devyendu Pratik Gandhi and Avinash Tiwari who are childhood friends dreaming about a getaway to Goa when they are adults and finally chance upon the opportunity to take the trip they always longed for things very soon get totally out of hand how the trio gets embroiled between warring gangs which involves drugs money and everything illegal under the sun and try to get out of the same mess forms the basic premise of mudgaon express here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the film so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch the movie in theaters or not the underwhelming aspects abrupt integration of music and some off-putting gags i know what kunal khemu was totally trying with the way he was integrating his music in the screenplay this is a director who might be slightly rough on the edges in this department but kunal essentially aimed to showcase the emotional or inebriated state of characters through exaggerated song and dance something that was aced in a movie like delhi belly i'll tell you the perfect example when arup gets dumped in delhi belly the film during the wedding ceremony showcases arup gate crashing the event and dancing on ja chudel the lyrics are reflective of how the girl played him in the relationship and his heartbreak but are told through the most absurd visuals you never scoff at the over the top nature of the same because it's any way reflective of the pitch and theme of the film more importantly he imagined it all similarly with singles like rato ke nazare and especially not funny in this movie the film tries to take the same absurd leap but the music takes the shape of random dance numbers rather than really being reflective of the emotions of the characters or their interpersonal relationships other than this minute hiccup i think there are some gags that just miss the mark at least i assume the makers were attempting zingers with the same upendra limai going on a headstand to seek for answers from those captured a random over the top goan taxi driver devyendu's throwaway jokes like apne santre theek kar or random three stooges gags which showcase characters just hitting someone else's face or crown jewels is low hanging fruit stuff but this can easily be avoided because this film really did deliver in providing a fun and hilarious ride the good ironic homage to excel what's hilarious is that excel and dil chahta hai in specific is instrumental in making us dream about a road trip with our friend group to goa and mudgaon express takes the shape of becoming dil chahta hai gone wrong expressed exactly this way by the producer and director himself the film hilariously pays an homage to these classics as the trio gets into an accident with plans of going to goa as the title track of the iconic song from dil chahta hai plays in the background the makers don't even leave laksh ironically playing the background score as dodo attempts a speech trying to convince his foreign return privileged friends to hop on the mudgaon express and truly slum it out i love how they created a spin with these iconic films and scores kunal doesn't even leave godfather with his references it makes me really appreciate some of the creative decisions taken by the debutant director who has also written the story and screenplay of the film 
the universal experience. The film is 100% relatable despite its absurd elements and comedy of errors that follow because the trio represents several friend groups we have always been a part of and showcases precisely the same discussions we have had regarding the perfect trip to Goa that never leaves the group chat. This never-ending plan to go to Goa after graduating school, college and at some stage even in your adult life is something that everyone has experienced, especially the trauma of expressing the same to parents. The projection on social media in our comparative society also plays a key role in the film's storyline. How the trio's personalities collide as each one tries to assimilate with someone's plan actually acts as a perfect setup for us to understand their dynamic and get invested even when they start opening up personally. That's what I loved about the film. I really did care about their outcome because the characters over a period of time become endearing. Something totally lacking in comedy films recently that largely just depend on gags for their success. The Suspension of Disbelief The film presents an array of eccentric characters that I totally became a fan of by the end of the film. I don't care what anyone says, but Chaya Kadam as Kanchan Komdi deserves her own spin-off with her Komdi gang. She is so badass as she sports her Maharashtrian sari and the gun holstered at her waist. She only means business and her dynamic with Upendra Lemai playing the role of Mendoza Bhai extracts several laugh out loud and surprisingly even heartfelt moments. Nora Fatehi is almost the manic pixie girl who can fix every problem, crossing paths with the boys group very conveniently but it's hilarious to see her relationship with Devyendu and Avinash and how it slowly develops only for animosity and jealousy to creep in. The comedy gang, the Mendoza's goons, the police and its pursuit to end this racket all creates a hilarious concoction of a comedy of errors that genuinely made me laugh so much but I know what really makes this film special. The Trio You've got the straight-edged and simple Ayush, the finicky, privileged mama's boy Pinku and the deadbeat and loose cannon that is Dodo. The trio really makes this film so enjoyable. Even though Devyendu is handed over most of the punchlines and Avinash is mostly reacting to situations, it is Pratik Gandhi who absolutely steals the show in this film. Seeing him coked out of his mind as he twitches and clenches his jaw like Jordan Belford, you see a complete antithesis of Pinku's character. Suddenly, you see a trash-talking and confident Pinku who made me uncontrollably laugh as the friends are baffled noticing this newfound confidence. Devyendu shouting TikTok banane aya hai kya to Pinku as he drops the bomb that he's just come for three days or dropping the biggest spy universe bomb in a web of lies will make you laugh out loud. After a very long time, a film with a comedy of errors has not become exhausting. It was genuinely so much fun and a great weekend out with your friend group. Trust me, it is one of those films you want to see with your peers. Hollywood really got this comedy right on point and I hope crew next week does the same. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about Mudgaon Express. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle's right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.